Alright everyone, how's it going? This is Rexfury here, and I'm back yet again with another game tutorial, and I can never seem to say that fastly as well as correctly. Is fastly a word? I don't think it is. Anyway, nonetheless, moving on to the tutorial here. Basically what I'm going to show you guys today is how to implement question boxes into your game maker games. Now when I say question boxes, or boxes rather, um, what I mean is a yes or no question. So for this tutorial, uh, what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be making a little box like this. I'm going to be able to click on it, or you're going to be able to click on it. On it, and there's going to be a little box that comes up that says, um, basically, do you like pie? Of course, it could be anything um, besides that, but for the tutorial, it's going to be do you like pie? And uh, you can either hit yes or no, depending on what you choose. Um, there's basically going to be a corresponding action uh, following that up. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, as you can see, I already have everything pre-made for the sake of pacing in this video. And uh, don't worry, I'm going to go through everything and what everything does. And uh, including the sprites, although the sprites aren't really too uh, necessary to explain. But, you know, just in case this tutorial doesn't work for you, um, I'm going to, you know, just go through these anyway. So you don't think that it is the sprites that are the problem here. Um, but basically, as you can see, it's just a random 32 by 32 question mark inside of a white and black block. Or white block with a black border. And we have our little poorly, poorly drawn pie here, um, but you know, it's still okay for the uh, for the video at hand. All right, now let's go ahead and go to our question object, and basically. I'm just going to be teaching you guys the bare bone basics of how to use question boxes or question boxes. Um, I'm not really going to be teaching you anything too advanced. Um, just basically how to use them and get started with them. Uh, you can get a little bit more advanced with them, but you know, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to at least access them and kind of make a little bit of use of them uh, for now. But basically, once you have your, um, you're basically going to need two objects, as you can already see. Um, and one of them is going to be your question, basically whatever you're going to click on uh, that will bring up the box, and then your object that will turn into, or that will it'll turn into. Uh, don't worry if you don't get this now; you will get it later on in the tutorial. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your question object, and you're going to go add event mouse and left press. So when you left press, or left click rather, on the object, whatever's going to happen over here um, will happen. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and head over to the control tab now. Click and drag over this, and this is a check question. Now this is what we're going to be using for the uh, question box. Now this is why this tutorial is going to be so short, at least I'm hoping it is. Um, Game Maker actually has its own pre-built uh, question boxes inside of the program itself. Now this is really useful and I've been using it for a long time and it can come in handy so much. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to write your question inside this little box and for obviously I put do you like pie and you don't have to put this question mark. It works without it as well um, but I just prefer to uh, I guess keep it there <laughs> for uh, grammatical purposes. Let's go ahead and do okay. Alright the next thing you want to do is um, this only brings up the question box itself. Now, what you're going to want to do to actually, you know, make it so whatever you press, um, yes or no, um, you're basically going to want to click and drag over four or two starter blocks, uh, one right here and then another one right there, and then two end blocks. And basically, um, it's going to look like that, and same thing for down here. Um, but basically, what you're going to do is this is how this works. This is going to be the question. And whatever is inside the uh, first and start of end or first start of block and first end of block, sorry, um, is going to be what happens when you press the yes button. All right. So it's going to say, "Do you like pie?" And we hit yes, and it's going to go ahead and uh, I just went ahead here and uh, went to the main one tab and uh, click and drag over a change instance, change it into our pie object. So when you hit yes, it's going to change it to a pie object. And then you want to go ahead and uh, click and drag over an else from the control tab. All right, put it right above your uh, second starter block and end a block. So it looks like, uh, well, obviously it looks like this. You'll have the else, and then you'll have your uh, starter block and end a block here. All right, and what I went ahead and did is went to the main two tab, clicked and drag over a display message, and put neither do I. All right, so basically what's going to happen is uh, we're going to hit yes um, for do you like by, and it's going to change into an object. And uh, then we're going to do it again. If we hit no, uh, then it will just go ahead and say that neither do I. All right, so that is all that's uh, pretty much involved in this. We're just going to go ahead and hit OK. Put our question box, obviously, uh, object inside the room. You can put it anywhere you want. Just put it in the center there. 
All right, now let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and switch out the views really quick just so you guys only see the game window so it's not, you know, bugging to see all that uh, desktop stuff. So I will see you guys in just a moment here. All right, and we're back, and as you can see, we have our little question box here. And when I click it, it says, do you like Pi? And I'm going to go ahead and hit no really quick just so uh, we don't have to go restart this thing over again. It says, neither do I. Okay, we hit okay. All right, and we can do it again, and do you like pie? This time we'll go ahead and hit yes, and there we go. It turns into a nice, poorly drawn, but still delicious pie. All right, everyone, hope this tutorial helped you, and I uh, hope it was not too long. I'm expecting around five minutes or so, and hopefully it's less than that, but, you know, maximum five minutes. But I guess we'll see uh, once I actually get it uploaded and such. But anyway, feel free to comment rate on this video, or comment and rate, rather, on this video. And feel free to even subscribe uh, for, uh, well, updates on new videos and stuff like that. So until next time, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and I will see you guys next video.